What's up, everybody? This is Insight the Rapper from Adam Nation Productions, the owner and artist on the label, uh, coming at you to talk about a little something that's been kind of messed up, which is there was an interview between a young man, a young YouTuber named Jared Meyer, and the WWE wrestler Jeff Hardy that took a downward, spir downward spiral for Jared Meyer to where like his first touch of fame has been mostly hate. And I'm here to touch base on that a little bit. Um, I know this isn't really my degree to go into, but here's the thing. Jared Meyer went in there. He did the asked to do the interview. The manager and Jeff Hardy themselves agreed to do the interview. They knew it was on video. Jared did not hide it. Jeff Hardy even did some actions towards the camera to make it known that he knows it was on video. Jared proceeded to uh, get permission to post the video on YouTube. He got permission to post everything in the video. Um, he did not ask about the leaked information. He did not ask about the leaked details. And that's that's kind of where this takes a turn because Jeff Hardy then released a promo video. And even if it was just in character, this video alone, I was a fan of Jeff and Matt Hardy for a minute. And at this point, they have both lost a fan permanently and many others too. Uh, because they decided to in this promo, Jeff Hardy said, fuck that guy to the, fuck that dude to the sun or something like that. It was either guy or dude, I don't know. But, uh, what I've got to say about that is, man, Jeff, fuck you to the sun, dude. Like, and you, you tell this kid, you tell Jared that you're not mad, you know, Matt wants to tell Jared that you're not mad at him and stuff like that, but you have no balls to respond, you know, and Matt has left Jared on red when all he did was ask for help. He said it was getting hard. This isn't easy on Jared's mental health. Like Jared is going through some shit now because of what y'all did like promo or not. Like that's messed up, dude. Like that's fucked. That's just beyond fucked up for what you guys are doing. Like I thought y'all were supposed to support your fans, and instead, you just degraded one because you guys fucked up, because you guys messed up. That's not hell on him. If you didn't want him to post the video, you shouldn't have gave him goddamn permission. If you didn't want that getting leaked, then you should have told him to cut it out. Like, that's your fault. You didn't take any of those precautions. You just fucking went with it. And I get it. You know, you're like... Well, he's a small YouTube channel. I didn't know it was going to get big. You leak some kind of information out like that, and that information's going to fucking fly, dude. Like, you have to really think about that, and upon the part that you didn't, y'all are fucking stupid. Like, this discredited y'all, and this discredited WWE, and this definitely discredits the fans of WWE who don't know how to fucking pay attention and listen, you know? Like, y'all didn't understand... Like, y'all fans are acting like some nine-year-olds. It's a WWE thing. This is like, it's wrestling that's faked with a bunch of fucking bullshit drama with, and horrible actors. Like, that's what WWE is. And y'all are like, fuck this guy. He, he does this and he just fucked up Jeff Hardy and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and you're saying he deserves this hate, you know? Jared was just meeting a big a big fan who was meeting someone that he, like, really loved to have an interaction with. Like, he... That was a big moment for him. It's not Jared's fault that that got big. It's not Jared's fault that that got leaked. Jared didn't ask you about that. You just brought it up. Take, can, take ownership of that shit, man. That's fucked. Jared, I want you to know, man... You know, I know we don't talk, haven't talked in a long time, and like, uh, you know, we don't know each other too much at this point, but I will say this, man, you got the, you got Eight Up Nation, which stretches all the way from here in Missouri out to Texas, to uh, Houston, Texas, you know, you've got us on your side, we got your back, we understand, we get it, you know. We look at the D part of this label is we look at the details. We don't want to just jump off some bullshit information in a fake ass promo with horrible acting where they're trying to act tough, you know? Um, we got your back. 
we believe you. We understand you. We we seen the proof. We we get it. We got you, bro. No matter what. Uh, let me know if you need anything. I'm always gonna have your side. I promise. Congratulations on that little bit of fame, though. I know fame comes with a little bit of fucking bullshit to come with it, but you just gotta work your way through that, man. Um. Anyways. I'm going to sign this video off with a little one last thing that I got to say uh, about some things coming out with Adub Nation. My album, Insight the Rapper, uh, Guilty by Association, I went mind blank there, is in the makes right now, but it's going to be a while before this one comes out. I know I dropped a lot of my shit very fast, but I didn't really put too much effort in that. You know, most of it was just freestyle as it is. But, uh,. This one I'm putting a lot of effort into. I put together your actual studio. Sound quality will be better. Word usage will be better. Everything is going to be better for this one. And I'm really working hard on that, on this album. This is going to be pretty much my debut for uh, production right there. And also don't forget to check out Zach Reinbold. His music currently is all on SoundCloud, but he is, we are working to get the contracts and information for distribution so I can put his music in other places and stuff. And he is the, like I said, the newest artist on 8up Nation. And there may be a few more coming in behind him out of Houston, Texas. Uh, there might, And there's going to be a few more coming in here out of St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, there's also a few more artists that we're looking at bringing in from in between even stretched all the way out to california uh this is gonna be this is some pretty big moments groundbreaking shit for adub nation right now um and yes anyone who actually liked cosmo rabbit we're sorry to say but we have discontinued him off of the label due to personal reasons uh personal dispute between him and the rest of the label um he has been discontinued all of the music that he has created. We actually ended up taking it all down. It is nowhere to be found at this point. Um, but unless he's got a copy and he posts it somewhere. But any copies that we had, we had to remove. Because he is no longer part of with us. I wish him the best. I hope him the best in his career. And I hope he finds, you know, a new label maybe. Or does his own thing independent. Gets himself a studio instead of having to use mine, you know, and continues to make music because he's got he's got a accreditation to do that, you know. He's he's not too bad. He's not the best, but he's not too bad, you know. But uh, with that being said, that's all I got right now. Uh, you guys have a good day. Peace.